Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about the basics of liver, its structure, functions, anatomy, and what are the different types of liver cells, what are the markers to detect those liver cells, and so on. So first, what is liver? As you know that the liver is the largest, it is the largest internal organ in human body okay the first point is that it is the largest internal organ in human body okay so and this is the largest solid organ in the human body the largest organ in the body is skin but uh, but this when it comes to solid organ liver is the largest second largest organ in general so where is this liver located the liver is located beneath the re rib case in the right upper up abdomen okay in the right upper abdomen in the rib case, uh, the liver, uh, beneath the rib case, the liver is located. The study of the liver is called hepatology. Always remember that whenever you see the word hepato, okay, so whenever you see this word hepato, which means liver, and lozy, this lozy, lozy means uh, study, okay, so basically hepatology is the uh, study of liver. And this picture here is, is the picture of human liver okay so uh, what are the key facts about the liver okay so the key facts about liver is that that uh, the, the liver filters all of the blood uh, blood in the body okay so the most uh, one of the most important key facts is that this liver act as the sieve uh, that because it, it, it filters all the blood in the body and it breaks down poisonous substances such as alcohol and drugs okay so this is factor number one and liver produces produces bile bile is a fluid that help helps digest fats and carry away waste okay so this is fact number two and fact number three is that the liver consists of four lobes which are each made up of eight sections and thousands of lobules or small lobes okay so these are the key facts about liver. Liver has four lobes, okay? So, and so what are the functions of the liver then? The functions of the liver, uh, the functions of the liver can be categorized into these, uh, the categories like metabolism. Liver has metabolism function. It metabolizes drugs and other substances. Detoxification, a liver does the detoxification and coagulation. And liver also has immune response because it has buffer cells whose function whose function is to fight infections so uh, the essential the, the liver is an essential organ as you all know of our body and it performs over 500 vital functions the functions of liver include albumin production okay so basically albumin is a protein that keeps fluids in the bloodstream from leaking into surrounding tissue it carries hormones, vitamins, enzymes through the body. Okay, so albumin production is one function of the liver. Like I said before, liver also produces bile. And bile is a fluid that is critical to the digestion and absorption of fat. Okay, fat digestion and absorption. For the fat digestion and absorption in the small intestine, the bile is necessary. So the production of the bile is another function of liver. And I, as I said already, liver filters blood. All the blood leaving the stomach intestine passes through the liver, uh, which removes toxins, byproducts, and other harmful substances. Okay, that's why it filters the blood. Okay, and another important function of the liver is it regulates amino acids. The production of proteins depend on amino acids, and the liver makes makes sure amino acids level in the bloodstream remain healthy. Liver regulates blood clotting. Blood clotting uh, coagulants are created using vitamin K, which can only be observed with the help of bile, a fluid the liver produces. Okay, it regulates blood clotting. Okay, blood clotting coagulants are created using vitamin K, and which can only be observed with the help of bile, a fluid the liver produces. It resists infection. Okay, as a part of the filtering process, liver also removes bacteria from the bloodstream because when the liver is doing this filtering, it actually removes the bacteria from the bloodstream. And another important function of the liver is the storage of vitamins and minerals. The liver stores significant amounts of vitamin A, D, E, K, and B12, as well as iron and copper. 
liver process liver processes glucose the liver removes excess glucose sugar uh, from the bloodstream okay it it removes excess sugar or the glucose from the blood bloodstream and it stores it as glycogen okay the liver actually stores glucose as as glycogen and whenever there is a need this glycogen is converted back into the glucose okay so whenever there is need of the energy the glycogen is converted back into the glucose so these are in some of the basic functions of liver so then uh, the structure of the liver uh, like i said already that the liver consists of four lobes okay so lobe uh, one two three and four okay this is not the correct structure but i mean like like this the, there are four lobes in the liver okay and so the, these the, the larger right lobes are the larger uh, and the left um, the larger right and left lobe and the smaller lobes are quadrate lobe and quadrate lobe okay the left and right lobe are divided by fa fa falciform okay that is a sickle shape in latin ligament okay so basically right and left lobe are divided by falciform so basically the if this is right lobe and if this is left lobe and here we have falciform again okay? this is falciform so these right and left lobe are divided by falciform so what is this falciform this falciform is a ligament uh, which connects the liver to the abdominal wall okay liver slopes can be further divided into eight segments which are made of thousands of lobules liver slope can be further divided into eight segments and these segments are the liver lobes are made up of thousands of lobules okay each of these lobules okay so these liver lobules that has a duct flowing from um, flowing a uh, toward common hepatic duct which drains bile from the liver okay which drains bile from the liver and the next is another important parts of of, of the liver um, are common by uh, common hepatic duct so what is it it's a tube that carries bile out of the liver it is formed from the interse intersection of right and left hepatic ducts okay a uh, falciform ligament i already discussed it's a thin thin fibrous ligament that separates two lobes of the liver and connects it to the abdomen, abdominal wall and glycine's capsule another important part is glycine's capsule it is a layer loose connect layer of loose connective tissue that surrounds the liver and its related arteries and ducts hepatic artery the main blood vessel that supplies the liver with oxygenated blood so hepatic artery supplies blood, liver with the oxygenated blood what is the portal vein the portal vein is the blood vessel that carries blood from the gastrointestinal tract gall gallbladder gallbladder pancreas and spleen to the liver and this this blood is deoxygenated blood okay lobes what is lobes the anatomical sections of the liver liver has four lobes as you already know what are lobules lobules there are thousands of lobules in the, in, in 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 the in the, in the, in the liver in the liver lobe so these these are the microscopic building blocks of the liver lobules are the microscopic building blocks of the liver and another important is peritoneum a uh, peritoneum is a membrane covering the liver that forms the exterior okay so peritoneum is the membrane uh, covering covering the liver that forms the exterior okay so now i that i have talked about liver liver function liver structure now in this slide i'm going to talk about liver cells okay liver cells can be divided into two different categories paren parenchymal cells and non-parenchymal cells parenchymal cells mainly the parenchymal cells are hepatocytes okay or uh, biliary epithelial cells or cholangiocytes non-parenchymal cells are hepatic stellate cells cofa cells and liver sinusoidal endothelial cells so 70% of the total cell population total liver cell population is hepatocytes this is very important the major cell type so because the 70% of the total liver cell population is hepatocytes okay so then what do these hepatocytes do hepatocytes are primarily engaged in the basic basic functions of the liver and what kind of functions they perform they do lipid metabolism drug metabolism and the secretion of coagulation secretion of coagulation and complement factors okay livers uh, this these hepatocytes they are mm, mainly hexagonal in structure okay like this they have kind of hexagonal structure 
and it's a nucleus some hepatocytes are uninuclear having only one nucleus or we also have hepatocytes which are binuclear having two nucleus okay so this is uninuclear hepatocytes and this is binuclear hepatocytes and cholangiocytes cholangiocytes are the second most abundant epithelial cell population of the liver and they have a more traditional um, epithelial function as the cells these cells line the lumen of the bile ducts okay cholangiocytes line the lumen of the bile ducts okay and so the kufa cells the kufa cells kufa cells which represent the one third of non parenchymal cells non parenchymal cells uh, these are the immune uh, liver, in, they, they serve as the immune cells in the liver which serve as the immune cells, okay, Kufa cells. And hepatic stellar cells, which comprise only 5% of the liver cells, uh, they play a central roles in vitamin A and lipid storage. And these hepatic stellar cells, they exist in two forms. One is quiescent, quiescent form and the other one is the active form, okay. So, at normal condition, these hepatic stellar cells are in questioned form, but when there is a liver injury, uh, these hepatic cells, under the influence of injury factors, they, 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 they are activated, okay? And then this, and this LSECs, which comprise the largest, um, largest part, 50% of liver non parenchymal cells. They separate underlying hepatocytes from the sinusoidal lumen okay sin liver sinusoidal um so sinusoidal lumen so basically what these do these cells they comprise the largest part of the uh, largest part 50 percent of the liver non parenchymal cells and separate hepatocytes from the sinus sinus sinusoidal lumen okay so another important topic that i want to discuss is the markers of hepatic cells okay so uh, because for the the marker to detect hepatocytes okay if we want to detect hepatocytes by performing immunohistochemistry ifc or immunofluorescence okay if then the marker for these hepatic um, hepatocytes uh, is albumin okay so then we will we will use the antibody against albumin albumin is the marker for hepatocytes so if we want to detect hepatic stellar cells okay hepatic stellar cells the marker for hepatic stellar cells is desmin okay this protein is the marker for hepatic stellar cells and then kufa cell marker so the marker for kufa cells is f for 80 anti f for 80 protein okay so this protein is the marker so we will use antibody against f for 80 and then we can determine the kufa cells and finally the cholangiocyte marker so um to to to, to know the cholangiocyte positive cells we will use sox 9 antibody against SOX9 protein and so then this will give us uh, the idea about the cholangiocytes. So the marker of these different uh, liver cells he for hepatocytes the marker is albumin, hepatic stellar cell marker is desmin, Kufa cell marker is F480 and cholangiocyte marker is SOX9. I hope guys this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your kind 